What up, Card Kingdom family? Kenji back for some more drafting here on Magic Online. Got some more Vintage Cube ahead of us. That's right, they've brought it back once again. Some more Vintage Cube to play. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can check out cardkingdom.com slash Numat for all your Magic card needs. Well, 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 if it isn't one of the best possible, if not the best possible, card to open. And that is good old Soul Ring. Yeah. You can't really go wrong, uh, or rather you can't say enough good things, and everything that you can say about it already has, so we're just going to take that card. Notable cards I'm passing. For me, Library, Bone Crusher, Sneak Attack, Frantic. But yeah, we will take the Soul Ring, and we will be very pleased with ourselves. Okay, it looks like they've added, of course, some of the new cards from... MKM, but we are not going to first, or rather second pick a novice inspector. Don't really plan on going like a mono white aggro deck. What's a good follow up here? Psy, Master Thopterist, that usually wheels. This pack looks pretty weak actually in comparison to our first pack. Uh, Dig Through Time, Dark Depths could be cool. I could try to take Dark Depths and get some nasty land deck going. There's also a scape shift here. It's kind of cute. Natural order is very good for the green decks. There's a duel in Taiga that we could just take if we really wanted to. I don't know. I, don't, I think you could take any of the cards here. I guess if we took scape shift, we could wheel the Valakut or vice versa. That'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, I'll take the Dark Depths. We'll see where that goes. And now a much better pick number three. Okay. Wow. Uh, let's see. Crucible of Worlds for the land deck is pretty sweet. A couple of talismans here for some artifact fixing. Great off of a soul ring. There's a fractured identity. Just amazing, amazing blue-white removal spell. Slash win con. Basalt monolith, fantastic. Fractured is probably the most powerful card here. I guess that's probably what I'm supposed to take. Prismatic Ending, Cryptic Command, Brainstorm, Nettle Cyst. Do I want to go like a control deck? Take Cryptic Command, fourth pick. Prismatic Ending or Brainstorm are probably safer, but you know what? I'll do it. What the heck? Hey, that's kind of insane. I think Hull Breacher is one of the best creatures in the format. This card is just really, really stupid if you've never played with it. And if you have played with it or against it, then you know. Uh, I don't actually know what Legacy's is, Quick Reflexes is. This looks like a new include. It's got split second, so it cannot be countered or responded to. Untap a creature until end of turn it gains hexproof reach, and whenever this creature becomes tapped... It deals damage equal to his power to up to one target creature. Wow, that's a really good green card. Not as good as Hole Breacher, but very good green card. Mystic Confluence, Solitude. There's the Zurn Orb for the Crucible we passed. Sacred Foundry, Sheldock Isle, and Days. Another really good pack here. Looks like we're going blue. How unfortunate. I actually prefer taking the cheap counter magic here than the uh, expensive one. Oh, balance is also really freaking nice. Oh yeah, we're gonna go some like blue white controly deck. It feels like paradoxical outcome. Probably not. Ledger Shredder is very good. If I took balance though, taking too many of those type of creatures can be awkward. But I don't think that matters. Shredder is just too good to pass up. And now frantic search. Yeah, this is. This is going very, very nice. We could be some kind of blue combo deck for sure here if we're not going to be blue-white control. Um, is there any chance I wheel the prismatic ending? Yeah, I guess there could be. What else? There was a brainstorm, though I don't have any fetches or shuffle effects for that yet. Uh, Coveted Jewel would be a cool one. Wheeling any of those Talismans or even the Basalt Monolith would be really good too. Uh, 
getting a bit hooked up. Feels great. Okay, we wield the dig through time actually pretty good as well. I think this was one of the cards I was planning on picking in one of the are in this pack initially. Sure, sure, sure. Talisman of Indulgence came back. Good. It adds black red, which doesn't do anything for us currently, but it's nice with balance. Uh, Thirst could be okay. Potentially. Let's put that to the sideboard for now. Was this the coveted jewel pack? I don't recall. I guess I take Shattered Sanctum here over Kaito. Yeah, that. Well, actually, Kaito seems pretty good there too. Oh, Brain Freeze and Tendril's last few picks. Okay. Well. I opened the Thespian stage to go with the Dark Depths, but I don't think we're doing that anymore, right? We passed so many good Land Matters cards in pack one, and in fact, we saw that Elvish Reclaimer, for example, super late. So, what are we looking at? Talarian Academy, Mystical Tutor, Lorien Revealed, Spell Pierce, Animate Dead is fantastic. You know, I could definitely be doing reanimator now that i look at it i have kaito i have frantic search i have shredder those are all good enablers for reanimator i would rather build a Telerian academy deck but i don't really have that many artifacts right now yeah i'm gonna take the academy i'd rather do academy than reanimator nice and we're gonna follow that up with a time spiral i don't care for mind twists Delta would also be really good here, but we already have the Breacher too, so Time Spiral is an easy pickup for me. Underground C versus Narset. Narset's another combo with Spiral. Hmm. Underground C is really tempting, but yeah. I think we're going to just take the Narset and be the blue combo deck. Stern Scolding's very good. Portal to Phyrexia can be very good. If I pick up Tinker, Portal's a really nice hit off of that. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the Portal. Displacer Kitten, that's a really fun one too. What do we have with Displacer Kitten right now? Not too much, but we have a couple of things. Otherwise, I can take, like, Time Warp, Subtlety, Vista. Actually, I'm going to take the Time Warp here. Probe over Reprieve. Reprieve's also quite good. No, Reprieve's really good with, like, Balance, too. Let's do that. There's Candelabra, which is actually incredible if we get the Academy to pop off a bit. Tidebinder has been surprisingly good, too. Yeah, I might end up cutting this Kaito. Do a blue-white combo -y control deck. I'm going to need to pick up quite a few more artifacts for this academy, but... I'm not too concerned as we get, what, Mystical Tutor, Lauren Revealed, Spell Pierce, Tutor Grabs, Spiral, Identity, Time Warp, Cryptic... Balance, that's definitely good enough. I would need to pick up like three or four more artifacts at a minimum to make me comfortable running the academy. Because if I don't pick up any more, then it's not going to be good enough. Yeah, even the mind twist is wheeling. I don't want it still. I think I'd rather take manifold key. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How did I not see breach in this pack initially? Because I have the Brain Freeze. 
Oh man, yeah, that's too good. Okay. And now that Blood Crypt? Well, we're not splashing black anymore. Restless Bivouac, I don't really want that tap land. I guess I'd still rather have the Crypt. Sheesh, yeah, Breach is just too good. And if we can get lucky enough for Black Lotus or just pick up like a Lion's Eye Diamond in pack three, then we have the full combo. But even if you don't have one of the um, mana accelerants, or not accelerants, but sources of uh, mana, Brain Freeze plus Breach is usually good enough just if you have, you know, eight mana or something. Might run the subtlety, might not. Currently not running the portal. This is pretty damn juicy. Just give me one of the uh, mocks. Give me one of the five moxes. Wow, never lucky. Oh, what? <laughs> we did get one. <laughs> I was saying never lucky, but I guess I just can't see. Okay, so Sol Ring and Mox Emerald. Obviously not the best of the Mox that we could open, but hey. Pretty freaking great. Hard Evidence would be good. Treachery, Chalice, Shorakai has been fantastic too. Into a Mox Diamond. Very good. Jace, Remand, Snap, Fiery, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is just the easiest Mox Diamond of all time though. Improves our Academy, fantastic with Draw 7. Fixes for all of our colors. There's the Lion's Eye Diamond too, okay, so we have the full combo Lion's Eye Brain Freeze, Underworld Breach. The question I'm asking myself is, do I risk passing the Lion's Eye Diamond? Because we have other good options here. Ponder is great. Dak is good. Flooded Strand's decent. Golos for Academy is also very strong. But I'm guessing the Golos wheels. And it's probably just better to make sure I get the Lion's Eye Diamond to go along with this. There is a top as well. Good. Oh yeah, this deck is turning incredible. So we picked up the bare minimum of artifacts that I would feel comfortable running the Academy with now, right? We have four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. And still the last half of pack three here to get a few more. Cards I'm going to consider cutting. Tidebinder, as that's more reactive. Shredder's probably still good enough. There's Echo. There's also a Teferi here. I didn't get the Displacer Kitten on the wheel. If I had, we'd have Infinite with Teferi. Teferi, Displacer Kitten, and like Mox Emerald or Soul Ring or whatever is infinite uh, mana and cards it could be that I take Teferi and Echo Wheels I think I'm going to do that Snapcaster versus Volcanic Snapcaster is not bad here but I think we want the land since we're planning on running the Breach That was a trinket mage, huh? That grabs quite a few goodies. Emerald, Lion's Eye, Diamond, the Ring, Top, and Candelabra. Yeah, that's good. Hollowed Fountain, fantastic. Oh, actually, Pentad Prism might be a little bit better. Also, there is a Sail into the West, which is another draw seven.
Uh, I'll just take the fountain. It's clearly the safer pick. Fiend's Tower, Shorakai, and Crab. Shorakai's been pretty good, too. It's an artifact that draws two. But once again, I assume that the Fiend's Tower is the safer pickup. Yeah. Poor Jace. Used to be a slam dunk, and now it's relegated to this. I kind of want to take Snap, if I'm being completely honest, but I guess Jace is still good enough as a 10th pick or whatever. Ponder and Golos came back really good. I still feel like Golos is the choice when I have the Academy in the deck. It's another artifact to fuel the Academy, too. All right, I need to cut at least one card, maybe two. I guess Narset's not that important. Colonnade's decent. I think we can probably cut Narset. We just have the Time Spiral. Right. And now uh, we can bring it in if opponent has a bunch of other ways to draw cards of their own. I guess Narset also digs for the combo pieces, though. Uh, maybe it's still right to run. Narset here. I guess I don't need Reprieve. It's nice to have a little bit of interaction. Yeah, this deck looks incredible. <sighs> Will it play out incredibly, though? Yeah, I think I'm going to cut the reprieve. One, two, three. White sources already. Four. Five, two mountains and volcanic plus talisman. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blue sources still. This looks good. It's fifteen lands plus a mox diamond. A little bit awkward, possibly, but I think that's okay. All right. Um. This deck is incredible. I would expect to do quite well with it. Let's see if we can turn expectation into reality. Okay, round one here of this vintage cube draft with our crazy blue combo deck. This is not the kind of opening hand we were hoping for. That looks like a mulligan to me. Uh, that's a little bit better, but still not fantastic. To pitch the cryptic command here, I guess. Probably going to lead on turn two talisman or the potential turn three jace. Ah, I take it back. That was a really good draw, actually. Because now I can go shredder into loot. A 2-4 is going to be a lot harder for them to deal with than a 1-3. So even though I don't get to go Talisman to Shredder this way, it's worth it for the extra 1-1 one, one counter, most certainly. Wow. <laughs> now we get to go Sol Ring into Jace. Okay. And I think we're going to fate seal ourselves. I'm going to keep that on top. We can brainstorm because we have Trinket Mage for shuffle too.
I'd say that was a pretty good sequence for us. Oh, bitter triumph. Boo. That's incredibly annoying. Oh, sorry. Teferi's going to go away, but they can't cast it this turn. Shouldred's edict to make me sacrifice a planeswalker? What on earth? Wow, that is kind of unlucky, actually. I guess I'll just fracture the Ragavan and say go. We're probably going to go grab a uh, top with our Trinket Mage now. That's fine. I don't mind that. That was a two for one in our favor. Okay. Maybe they just firebolt my trinket mage this turn. That'd be great. Wow. So good for us. So besides the Ragavan, I don't really feel like there's much to worry about in their deck. All right. There's the red source, but we'll draw cryptic here first. Frantic search, huh? It's pretty good, actually. With Underworld Breach. We could probably try going off next turn if we really wanted to. I don't think there's a necessity for that yet. But it's something that I could do. Oh, actually, no, I should have gone for it, shouldn't I have? Underworld Breach and Frantic is nearly infinite. I guess we'll just go for it next turn then. There's, I mean, again, I'm not in a rush, but could definitely go for the win here. Rizzlebrand and Liliana. Interesting. Time warp as well. All right, that's going to be good enough. I probably could have won a couple of turns ago, but this is fine. All right, start off by doing this. Can draw with top as well if we want to, I guess, but doesn't particularly matter. And now we have, in essence, infinite mana. Um, am I doing this in the wrong order? 
could just take a bunch of turns as well, but this is probably okay. Hitting a bunch of garbage. Is it safer to dig through time here? I guess it's probably safer to dig through time at this point. And there's the freeze. All right, GG's. Spell count is at five currently. Six. Mill them for a bunch, and then I can mill me. And they scooped it up. All right, that will work. So Ragavan could be a problem. We do have a couple things I could bring in against it, but I don't think I need to. Tidebinder are actually pretty good versus uh, Grizzlebrand as well. But I think our deck is good enough that we don't need any of those. That hand, however, is not good enough. Man, ugh. I hate to say it, but turn three Jace just isn't that good. And if they have the Ragavan turn one again, we're going to feel really bad. Ugh. If they have it, they have it, I guess. Not much you can do about it. All right, only hit a land there, thankfully. Botsies. Take the talisman, it's a good choice. Don't think we emerald into frantic. <laughs> they hit candelabra. All right, that's not a big deal. Grief. God. <laughs> Annoying creatures. So we need to draw like balance is ideal. We took the frantic. I think I'm going to fate seal myself. Because if they want to kill the Jace and they don't have a different way to do so, they have to send both creatures at it. Currency convert is really good. Okay, um... I could just try to go off here. I would need to get a little bit lucky. Or I could just go land pass, actually. The only way that I get punished is if they have like another discard effect. But by waiting, I think we actually increase our chances, right? They have Lotus? Oh, yikes. Because if I just go breach into brain freeze, I only mill six and I have to get very lucky on the mills. Or 
Whereas now, if we can get them to cast a spell or two, we're going to have extra mana. I think they should have probably attacked with Ragavan first before... Uh... Oh, they hit my LED! We would have hit it! Oh my god. We would have won. Holy smokes. That's sick. And we hit a bunch of garbage after. My god. Well, there's the balance. Okay. That buys us a lot of time. God, that's disgusting. Ugh. Maybe they use the Lion's Eye Diamond and put it in my graveyard. Recurring nightmare back there. Grief? Oh no! God damn it. So I'm going to need to draw like land into spiral. Yeah, time spirals are out now. All right, and then I need to draw it next turn. I don't think that does anything. Okay, well. I am dead on board, but maybe they don't see it. They attack for three and then firebolt me, but we'll make them see it. Because if they just go for Goldspan Dragon, I don't actually die. Bitter Triumph. Did they miss it? I think they might have missed lethal. Yeah. I think they missed it. Okay, this is what we were hoping for. Oh wait, no, they can sacrifice. That's right, they can use the Lion's Eye Diamond to get the mana for Firebolt. That's funny. That's too funny. Okay, you got me. Ah, again, I don't think it was ever correct to have gone for it on that one turn. It just happened to be that the very next card was Lion's Eye Diamond and would have let me win. <laughs> Alright, I mean, they had turn one Ragavan and I didn't have anything for it. We'll be on the play this time and that hand was pretty weak anyways. This is a little bit cold to their hand disruption effects, but I guess I cannot mulligan it. We're one Lion's Eye Diamond away from winning. Do I want a Mox Diamond here? Mox Diamond is better with the uh, balance, but... <laughs> I guess... I don't win anymore if I draw Lion's Eye Diamond because I can't actually hard cast this. Uh... I 
I can't hard cast this uh, reach anymore without it. another land first. Okay, that's fine. Looks like their draw is pretty bad too. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Weird game. <laughs> All right, we get a treasure off that too. I just need to draw land. There's the red source actually. <laughs> oh man. They can hard, crack, hard cast Grizzlebrand, maybe? And then look for, like, uh, Thoughtseize. If I lose this game, it's going to be pretty sad. Oh, there's the Grizzlebrand, okay. They can Recurring Nightmare that back. Or Animate Dead It, sure. Ooh, I might kill them with Brain Freeze, if they're not careful here. They're in a rough spot, actually. I think. I mean, I guess they could have Grief here as well, but I have three different cards that are really problematic. Yeah, there is not an easy choice for them here. All right, they took balance, which means they might have a way to deal with the... Oh, no, now that... So they must have a way to shuffle then, because Brain Freeze is currently lethal. I guess they do not. Okay, brain freeze for six after. <laughs> I was debating there if I wanted to target myself with some of them, but we'll take it. GG's. Well, let's go to second round. Off to round number two here of this vintage cube with our blue combo deck. That hand is absolutely insane. My god. This hand is one of the best openers I think you're going to see. Watch this. I have to sack my academy. Oh, I messed up. There was no reason to run out the academy. I could have just played basic island, right? Oh, no. I should have had Talarian Academy left in my hand after this. I messed up. I mean, we make them go down to one card, but... That was a big mistake on my part. Wow. I thought I was super good, and I just threw away my freaking academy for no reason. All right, looks like they're going to be on black-white aggro. That was a dumb mistake by my, by my part, though. Man, that was so bad. What am I doing? 
Can you imagine having a Talarian Academy here instead of Island? So we're going to shuffle land on top then. And the worst part is, if I cast this dig through time, I would have to exile my academy currently. So I guess we just probably wait for a turn or two. There we go. Mystical tutor for... Actually, I don't even know if time spiral is worth grabbing. We refill them. We probably can wait. Yeah, I'll just dig through time and leave the academy in the deck, or in the graveyard. So we will still keep the tutor. Uh, do we want to grab the LED? Probably. Looking for like Hole Breacher or something, I guess. Oh, there's Narset, that works too. Right, everything is coming up. Okay, and they gave up. Nice. Well, despite my incredibly terrible play of denying myself a lot of mana, I was still able to get there because we made them discard six cards on turn one. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next. All right, let's go on to the next game of the second round. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little bit speculative, of course, but all we need to find is perfect. One more land and we'll be good to go. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is just go top turn one and pass. Dazing isn't too bad since we have the diamond in our hand. Ooh, they have a soul ring as well. Okay, fair enough. We wanted to draw a land there. I guess I'll just go Plains Pass. Hold up Hardcast Days plus um, Activate of Top. All right, that Cathar Commando is actually kind of annoying. Luris. I guess we're just looking for balance then. Oh, and the clamps. Okay. Well, they're doing things here. Draw two. They get to recast it again next turn with Luris. Plains Trinket Mage to Fairy. Interesting decisions, interesting decisions ahead. I guess we're just certainly just drawing the planes here. I'll go ahead and frantic. And 
then trinket mage for our soul ring, I think. Say go. All right, recast the commando from graveyard. Probably just eat it with clamp would be my guess. Yeah. Luris is a hell of a drug too, that's for sure. All right, and recruiter. That's fine. Could have dazed it, but I'm not going to. I pitched the diamond, so I don't think I have that luxury so much. Oh, grief! Okay, that's pretty freaking annoying. I guess now all days. <laughs> that not the card I wanted to hit. Um... really want them to blow up my soul ring. I guess I could just go to Fairy Bounce the Luris. Start off with that. Now, obviously, if they can kill my Trinket Mage, they can kill the Teferi, but at the very least, that's going to set them back on some mana this turn. Oh, come on. Boo. Okay, that's annoying. I guess they probably still just take my soul ring, huh? Oh, they took Fracture. Interesting. So they can play out Luris here and then play out Commando again. Oh, no, they they left. They didn't leave wide open. So they're just going to clamp their recruiter. I see. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad, though. Or rather, it could have been much worse, I should say. Spin and look for balance or something. It's not even that good. Oh, there's the brain freeze and the red source. Okay. Can I win this turn? Um, Mox Diamond is in my graveyard. Let's see. I haven't played a land yet, but I would need to play Soul Ring first, then Shredder. No, I don't think I have enough mana. But we should be able to go for it next turn, right? Well, no, they have Concealing Curtains in their hand, or on the battlefield. I can draw the Mountain or the Brain for... I need to draw the Mountain to cast the Breach, though. And then I would need to still get lucky and hit my... Um... Still need to get lucky and hit my... Lion's Eye Diamond. <sighs> this doesn't seem likely. Draw Mountain, play it, play Soul Ring. Diamond. Uh, 
Diamond. Wouldn't have enough mana to frantic, right? Oh, this is so close, though. But yeah, I don't think we can quite do it this turn. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put the mountain on top. Now they know I can cast Breach. That was probably a mistake, too. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Whoops. That was pretty terrible of me, I think. All right, so they recast the Cathar, probably bolt blow up the ring now. Teferi dies because of... Uh, well, I guess they would have to lose the Loris to do so. Oh, right, this revealing eye too, duh. Never mind. And we don't actually want to block the grief, because then they could recast the animate dead off of Loris. Yeah, I made some mistakes here. Hmm. Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I think I still draw the Academy. Let's take a peek at whatever the third unknown is. <sighs> I guess brain freeze myself. <laughs> A bunch of mana sources, huh? Well, I can loot here, I guess. Right? Cast a second spell this turn. Okay, dig a little bit. Just looking for Spiral. Just looking for stupid, sexy Spiral at this point. Oh, they can pay for three? Wait, but they're over tapping on white there. I think they might have messed up the payment. Oh, and if they cancel, they don't get the pump. They messed up. Whoopsies. Well, they can clamp it, actually. They can clamp it and then cast it from graveyard. <laughs> Yeah. That's kind of funny. If I had one more artifact, I could spin the top and try to hit Hole Breacher here. All right, so let's put a, an irrelevant card on top to loot away. Balance isn't actually good. I guess I can... Well, no, I can't chump with this. It's a 2-4. If they kill my... 
If they kill my Shredder, then we can. Okay. Actually, Cryptic can bounce my Shredder. Yeah, like we actively want them to blow up, I'm pretty sure. All right, so draw Cryptic. I mean, I can probably just afford to wait one more turn while they're not doing anything. They keep holding open three mana, which is the most concerning. They're not using Luris, so... I'm not sure what they have in their hand, but they clearly have something. Okay, we can block the Luris. My option here is to still either balance or I can bounce their adversary and eat the Luris. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's go for the tutor then. So I'm going to take five damage. They're going to flicker my shredder to keep their Luris alive. Okay, sure. Um, I guess it's probably worth drawing the candelabra and losing the top. Candelabra for potentially a bunch of mana seems right. Doesn't matter that we're looting first. Okay. Did we kind of brick? Kind of. Oh, we did kind of brick, didn't we? That is kind of unfortunate. Let's 
bounce the thing that's taxing our mana. <laughs> we have the uh, breach LED. We're just missing the freeze. I guess I'm just going to... Identity their grief now. Oh, maybe I should have upticked to fairy and then planned on uh, casting identity on their turn. Maybe that was better. Oh, on the bright side, those are actually irrelevant. Oh, funny enough, they can animate dead from their graveyard still. Right, okay, well, it is what it is. Jeez, that time spot was really bad. I guess taking dig through time at that point in the... No, 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 that wouldn't have done anything either. Because all of our relevant stuff was in the graveyard. But... <laughs> Yeah, there's the Animate Dead on the Recruiter. Let's see what else they can grab here. Oh, their wedding festivity is kind of hosing them. That means their Skull Clamp cannot kill their creatures for free. That's actually really good for us. Damn. They grab Turok. They don't have... No, they do have triple black. Never mind. Well, shoot. So if I lose Breach, I don't think I can win with the combo anymore. <laughs> Maybe I loot into Cryptic. All right, well... Let's hope they don't hit something. They did hit the breach. We still have Frantic. I am not sure I can actually win this game anymore, though. Eat my Candelabra, I guess. Yeah. So that was what they drew for turn. Oh, they played a swamp. So we actually have perfect information on their hand. They have two planes. Or whatever, and those two creatures. We can instant speed balance now. <laughs> uh, I needed that echo in my deck to shuffle again. Because now that we've lost the breach, it's really bad. Oh, this might work out. This might work out for us. This is five. We can chump here. Take five. Oh, wait, no, I messed up. Oh, darn it. I should have traded with the recruiter and taken one extra damage. Because that would have... Um, That would have denied them two cards later, right? Yeah, because now when I instant speed balance here, they're going to get to keep their... Or rather, they're going to draw two after the fact. Okay. Another punt by me. So 
So instead of only being left with one card in hand, they're going to be left with three, one of their creatures, and then whatever two cards they draw. Dang it. So they kept the preacher. I guess Brain Freeze is still a viable win con when they only have 14 cards in their deck. I don't need to cast that many spells. Like, Dig Through Time probably wins if we hit it, you know? I guess I probably... cast the Frantic here. Okay, top was not bad. Our set was incredible. We're still spinning then. You might win this turn with Brain Freeze. There's Dig Through Time. All right, I'm guessing we now win. Nice. Oh, we didn't actually hit the brain freeze. But we can grab tutor plus card draw. And they scooped it up. All right, Mystical Tutor, Brain Freeze, play the Jace, draw it, Brain Freeze them out. Nice. Whew, 2-0. Oh. This deck is incredible. All right, here we are for the third and final round of this Vintage Cube Draft with our crazy blue combo deck. Looks like an okay hand to keep. We're a little bit short of having an insane turn one. It still will not be very bad if Soul Ring resolves, which it did. Nice. Into a Rona from our opponent. We could just go turn two Jace here. Or I could go turn two Narset and uptick. Or rather down tick immediately. Yeah, I kind of like going Jace, though. Seems good. We have the shuffle effect in Trinket Mage, and the Narset kind of gets through Brainstorm as well. Unfortunate. All right, Lelia's going to kill the Jace. And exile a Steam Vents. That's really good, too. Okay, let's just... Golos for Academy. And that's going to give us a ton of mana next turn, since we have the Candelabra. All right, so good attack for them, and they hit a snap? Okay. Yeah, they might snap my uh, Golos here before damage is dealt, or before blockers are declared. Yeah, for sure, because it's effectively free. Into a Valky. So they get to hit my Trinket Mage or my Golos. Oh, they still took the Golos, interestingly. Brainstorm. They are on some wonky, wonky mash of colors, that's for sure. Okay.
Ledger Shredder. Hmm. How do we want to lead things off? Maybe Shredder into Trinket Mage? Balance. No, we don't want that. Do I want to grab top here or do I want to grab emerald? Feels like between Narset and all the other cards in my hand, I mana acceleration may be better here. And now we can use the emerald for extra mana. Our set cryptic, which I cannot actually cast currently. Actually, no, I can. If I frantic search and discard the two cards that uh, I draw, I can cast cryptic because I'll untap academy plus two other land here. It's kind of cute. So we know they have a Rona and one, Rona and three unknowns in hand. All right, I don't care about that so much. Is that a rot farm they revealed? Sure. They cast another spell here. Our shredder is going to trigger as well. Collective brutality. Okay. Um, let's just bounce their Lelia. Ooh, lost my breach really sucks. So yeah, we need to find our uh, time spiral now for basically an insta win. Damn, would have found the brain freeze right after, too. All right, uptick. Very bad. I just pass here. Yikes. So... What can we do about this? We want them to cast another spell so we get a loot. Okay, well, lately a pass isn't the end of the world, at least. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. That's actually not too bad. If they elk my shredder, it's a 5-5 five, five still, at least. Okay, they opted to make a food. This Oko pass now? Sure. Okay, so that'll let me kill Oko.
I don't think I want to cast these just for a loot. Oh, memory lapse. Interesting. But that's fine, right? No, this is fine. Because what I can do is memory lapse resolves. I brain freeze them. Redraw the uh redraw the uh warp. And do it again. What did I mill? Mox Jet Escape and Tomb. Yeah, they are on some crazy brew. And perfect. There's the dig through time. All right, that I'm going to guess locks the game up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I guess I don't need Jace. Mm. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that should be enough then to mystical. Into time spiral, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Six, eight, nine. Oh, I'm one mana short. No, the Teferi can bounce one of my artifacts. Okay, that's good. That works. Oh, well, that works too. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Deck's great. Magic's great. Looks like Oko's actually, re or not Oko. Um, Tidebinder's really good versus a lot of their rando cards. But I don't think we swap anything. Our deck's just too good. Leave it as is. Let's go on to the next game of the final round. If this was an island, we could easily keep it, but that looks to be a mulligan to Sixer. Oh, this is a decent enough hand. It's not very busted, but between Days, Balance, and Teferi, I think it's a fine keep in the uh, or bottom the uh, Cryptic Command. Well... I guess when you run hot, you run hot. The only problem with this play is that I cannot Teferi since I don't have an untapped white, but even if I led with Colonnade, I still wouldn't be able to turn two Teferi. So I'd rather hold up the days here. <laughs> Who's the best limited player of all time? I don't know if they're talking about me. Collective Brutality, all right. Good enough today's, don't want them to take my balance. GG's days, they say. It's not GG's yet, right? Ooh. That might actually make it GG's. Because now we can go like this. 
Uh, I can just make them, yeah, lose their hand here at the cost of one of my lands. Nope, not Twister. Nice try. Actually, I guess I should probably keep the mountain. And then... I guess for now I'm just going to uptick Teferi. What did they lose? Yeah, a bunch of rando. Okay. Let's draw an extra card here. It's pretty good. There's Tutor, which can go grab Spiral. And Numoth the Nummy wins the match. All right, our deck was incredible, though, so no surprises. Um, let's take a peek at it one more time. It's just pretty insane blue combo. We got the Breach, Brain Freeze, and LED kind of late. Until then, I mean, we didn't even we didn't even get to pull off the whole Breacher nonsense. But yeah, that deck was fantastic. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that because I certainly did. We'll see you back next week for some more. Bye bye.